All right, now we're just going to pick up right where we left off. So I'm going to look through all of this copy that I've got here in my new index.html. I notice I have page one here and page two here. So my first thing to do will be to create a new page and put all of this information on it. Over here in the Explore menu, I can right click, choose New File, and I see that it says here five topics to learn about. So I'll just name it 5.html. Doesn't matter what you name your second page as long as it ends with .html. And then I am going to, five is blank, so let me go back to index, copy all of this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. Cut it. I did that with Control X or Command X. And paste. So now I have page two. Because I've made some changes on this document, I have a little blue circle here that means I need to save it. So I'll type Control or Command S. You can also choose to save it this way. Save. Either way, you'll know you haven't saved it if you see a blue dot. So back to Index. And the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate this page one. I wouldn't want that on my website. And I'll put the first tag that I know to put on every web page. Do you remember what that is? If I type my left angle bracket, I get a code hint. And I can just click that code hint and it will put in the tag that I need. The next tag is going to be the two HTML tags, the start one and at the bottom, the end HTML tag. So there's that. The next tag is going to be the head tag. There's the start. I always say shut the door. The minute you type a start tag, type the end tag. Shut the door. So I've got my start and an end tag here. I've got my start and end tags here. In between the head tags, who remembers what goes next? It's the title tags. Title. Let's shut the door for title. And what will we title this front page? Let's title it How the Internet Works. I'm going to copy that, Control or Command C, and just paste it there. So now I have my HTML skeleton, right? Let's put on the attribute that tells the browser we're going to be using English. Lang equals quote mark en end quote. Oops. I only need one pair of quote marks on there. See, this is the format. This is an attribute on the HTML tag. And the format is, there's the property, there's the equal sign, and then in quote marks, there's a value. All attributes have that format. Property, equal sign, and a value in quote marks. Let's go to page two and do the same things, and I'll teach you a little trick. So I'm going to get rid of the words page two. And here's my trick. This time I'll start holding my shift key and typing number one, or the exclamation point. And now I've accessed a menu that is going to give me a great shortcut. I'm going to click this first keyboard shortcut and look, my whole HTML skeleton has appeared. So the first thing I'll do is I'll move these two tags, Command X, to the bottom of the document, Command V. So now the proper sandwich order is made. Let me get rid of these. And I'll take this, I'll copy it, and put it in the title. And you'll notice there's a few other tags here that I haven't taught you. Actually, I think you know about the char set tag. I am going to copy that and put it on page one. 
But the other tags that you see here, these two tags, we're going to talk about them soon, but not in this class, not this early on. The first one is just something that is making our website compatible with uh, Internet Edge. And the second one is something that uh, will scale it for viewing on smaller devices. I'm going to get rid of those for now. And in the next video, we will look at the index page and tag it up. So we've done our skeleton format on both pages.